And the seven-judge Court of Appeal bench has commenced its 48 days of analysis of submissions filed by the appellants and respondents in the Building Bridges Initiative Appeals. The 20th of August verdict notwithstanding, another legal showdown looms at the Supreme Court, further complicating the Constitution Amendment push timelines on the eve of a general election. So which way the BBI process? Francisca Shuri has the details. After four days of high-voltage oral submissions and thousands of filed documents by legal teams representing various parties in the BBI case, attention shifts to the seven appellate judges as they retreat to craft a judgment that will be rendered in 48 days, the 20th August verdict likely to be contested at the Supreme Court by the losing team, further delaying the Constitution Amendment timelines unveiled by the National BBI Secretariat last year if the matter ends at the country's apex court. Legal pundits project an October or November conclusion of the matter. Whether it would be possible to conduct a referendum, review electoral boundaries and create 70 new constituencies less than a year to the general election, the pertinent question. If the result was positive for BBI, then it would mean that uh, there would be eight months between then or in, in where at least eight months could be even more uh, be before the next uh, general election to, to to do all that work. That's more than enough time. We can't factor in incompetences into the decision of whether something can be done or not done. It can be done and done very efficiently. That's why I said in uh, can, uh, Switzerland is able to hold referendums quite very efficiently. Uh, why would they do it and we can't do it? So, but it's because we want to factor in our inefficiencies in everything we do. At the heart of the BBI-driven clamor for constitutional changes is creation of 70 new constituencies, bringing to 360 the number of constituencies in the country. The Constitution Amendment Bill 2020 proposes a 94-member Senate with each of the 47 counties represented by a man and a woman. I can tell them without any fear of contradiction they should forget the 70 constituencies by reading Article 89, sub Article 3 of the Constitution. And Chepokate must come out very, very clear. He has even said he's not prepared. But now he cannot delimit constituencies, either increase or decrease. Even those which are protected, he cannot touch them. <laughs> Actually, the budget here around the petition using this week. Here I pay to prepare IEBC. If you look at it, and you could prepare for elections. The Electoral Commission IEBC, in a sitting with the Senate Justice and Legal Affairs Committee two weeks ago, raised doubts on the possibility of reviewing boundaries and adjusting the voter register in time for the August 9th polls. The issue of time, as I said, is just a question of do you have sufficient time to shift people uh, from their, shift their polling station and their details? in enough time for people to now identify their new voting areas and to identify their new candidates. There is nothing that would stop a referendum from not just this year, even next year. And it's a very simple thing. It's a bill. It's a yes and no question. Uh, the dream of the handshake and BBI was that one day we can actually walk into a poll, get out of work, walk into a polling station, vote and go home and count. The new electro units have been one of the key BBI selling points, ostensibly to cure the inequality in representation and sharing of national resources. The Constitution Amendment Bill proposes to suspend Article 89.4 of the Constitution that limits the limitation of electoral boundaries 12 months to the general election. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.